take class, you might take a water break after 20 minutes, but then you got to take it after 25 minutes, and 23 minutes. Don't let your environment dictate what you need to do, because some people go on a treadmill at the gym, they need to drink of water, they don't need any water. Some people go on a treadmill reading a magazine. We got to find a way to tune in, because something's going to come in your life, where the only way you can get out is to focus. You don't know what that is. It might be a school grade. It might be a parent dealing with a kid, your own kid, right? We practice for that moment to come so we can deal with it in a humble way. Make it sense? Yes, sir. Anybody around you that's not giving you that tough love and bringing out that grit, something's wrong. Because it's better to prepare you here. We sweat here so we don't bleed out there. Get in your push-up position. Yes, sir. Give me 25 push-ups. What? Come on, faster. What you gonna do here? Two. That's life, trying to hold you down. Let's go. Stop thinking and flow with it, baby. Come Three. on, go. Come on, go. That's Four. how you do it. Everybody get a party. <laughs> Give your partner on. Because if there's somebody standing by you and not cheering you on, tell them move on. I like the death ride. <laughs> <laughs>
something really important. The reason why I, the reason why I have a lot of energy when I had an eight year old son who was a blessing, named Messiah. The reason why we call him Messiah because he's our Messiah and he's our our life. I realized that in order, in order for my wife to have balance in her life, because mommies do a lot. Women do a lot. It's almost like there's no comparison. So let's think about it. I can stand up in the morning and I see my mom, I see my wife get up, get clothes together, wash her face, cook breakfast, get lunch together, and she refused to let me do it all on my own. She's like, so you got everything. That's a lot. Then she's the head of PTA. Now come on, you stop for me. That's a lot. Women move on. Schedules. Pop, 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 pop. Put a time limit on what you did. At the gym, in one minute I turn the treadmill up to the max. I don't care what it is. If it's 30, I'm going to put it on 30. I'm going to break the treadmill because nothing's going to break me. But you got to time yourself. So when you next drill, so for some of them people that didn't do your push-ups, whatever drill we do next, you got to knock it out and then go to the next thing. Because time management is the most important thing. You can get a great workout in 30 minutes if you stay on point. In the gym now, people, we do curls, then we do push-ups. Then we go like curls, then we do push-ups. We run away, we go. We run away, we go. We run away, we go. It's like, they like maniacs. But it's 45 minutes, because now i got to go to work. That's how we got to be. Would you agree? Yes. <laughs> you got to push like that. In, in, in our testing, we got 60 seconds to do 60 push-ups. 60 seconds to do 60 push-ups, 60 sit-ups. Some people knock out 120 in 60 seconds, right? Once you get the rhythm going, it just goes. Here's our next drill, so watch this. Mr. Marlowe's gonna hold my legs, he's gonna sit down. I'm coming over here. So watch. What's up, so? What's up, so? What's up, so? That's what we got. We got 15 of those. I'm saying you Yeah. <laughs>